Hello, folks. My name is Jay Johnson. And I'm Dr. Richard Hansen. Here we are, Sam Phase 5 Hard Day, the culmination of 10 videos. This is exciting. Here we go, folks. Leg strength, hard day, and a lot of, a lot of plyometric type stuff going on here. Yeah, so with a lot of the hard day routines especially, we'll start with skipping just to kind of warm up the nervous system, get everything moving. And, and, and folks, the understanding here is that you have done a hard workout or a long run or something challenging prior to, to doing all, the, all this stuff. And you really, from a mental standpoint, have to be, have to be ready to go to, to, to do this. Yeah, and focus too on what your mechanics are. Like here, we want that, that lunge to be a little bit more shallow, but we also don't want her to just be sloppy with what her knee angle and hip angle look like. Okay, speed skaters, this this is one that is a little bit ch uh, challenging, and then she's going to do a run out at the end of it. Yeah, so she's taxing her hip stabilizers a little bit by really trying to extend that hip, and then she'll stride out 30 meters to just work on that explosiveness. Is it, So it's a, a shallow landing there, trying to land with a, a pretty a neutral foot? Yeah, and the goal being get off the ground as quick as you can. So you get a little bit of knee and hip flexion, but still trying to explode upwards quick. And, and folks, if you think about it metabolically, you're, you're doing an exercise, then you're running out of it. So your, your heart rate's going to be up on this stuff. Yeah. And here she's using her arms to kind of drive the motion. Again, the goal is get off the ground quick. So you're still squatting a little bit, but still explode out of it. Bounding is a challenging one. And for a lot of you that have never done it, it may take a little getting used to. Okay, folks. Hip strength. So, so this will be a, li a little more challenging than what we've, we've, we've done in the past. Um, basically, she's getting some postural work and some lower body work here. Yeah, so we're working proprioception and balance, but we're also working some of the eccentric uh, components of the tissue, especially after we just did some of the plyometric activity. Folks, this one isn't necessarily going to be longer than phase four hard, but it is going to be more challenging uh, in terms of neurologically what's going on with, with all the plyos. Yeah, we're working the hips a bunch of different ways. You can see she kind of stumbled there. This is after this is actually after a workout for her, so she's a little bit tired. Um, but we're still trying to work the hip in all planes of motion, get a little bit of mobility, get a little bit of plyometric activity. And folks, with this one, it's eight eight reps. So you're doing three, but you have to do that three eight times. Yeah, and here you can see how she's kind of going a little bit at an angle. Uh, the goal is to go straight to the side, keep both feet pointed forward, but get a good stretch up as you go. Okay, core strength. This will will be some challenging work here with with some some V sits and some arm and uh, our leg lifts and arm lifts here. Yeah, so we've done arm and leg lifts in the past, but more uh, one at a time. Now you're combining the two, which increases that perturbation a little bit more. So folks, as, as I said earlier, this isn't going to take longer of this routine, but it is going to be more challenging. And, and the, the, the 20 second hold here after you've been doing the reps is challenging. Yeah, and we want to keep those hips up and keep the spine in a good, good straight line. Uh, th this is one that we haven't seen before. Yeah, this is uns working the hip stabilizers, the glute med, the piriformis. Your goal still is to keep those hips up, spine neutral, while slowly moving the leg out to, out to the side and back. And folks, if you've seen core acts, you've you, you've seen V sits with with kicks, just just like that. So that's not going to be new. Well, um, we won't go exercise by exercise here, but Dr. Hansen, just generally, can you talk about why we're doing all these leg swing type stuff um, in phase five? Yeah, so this is a little bit different mobility than what you've seen in some of the other routines in the past. Obviously, most people have seen leg swings before, but this is working a process called imbibition, which is a pumping mechanism at the joint as we're moving the leg um, back and forth through its full range of motion. We still have the proprioceptive component because you are standing on one leg, even though you do have a little bit of support using the straight leg and the bent knee, we're targeting different tissue. One's targeting the hamstring as it had its muscle belly. The other's targeting the glute and the upper hamstring at the tendon. Yeah, exactly. And, and there'll be a, a couple exercises uh, coming up here that we maybe haven't seen before in terms of doing a straight, straight leg um, and doing leg circles. So straight legs and then going forward and then some straight legs and going backward. Yeah, and the goal is, like I said, to target whether it be the hamstring or whether it be the glue and isolating each of those components with the different, by taking 
taking the knee bend as, as part of that isolation. Folks, you can learn more about Dr. Hansen and Roots Running at rootsrunning.org. Thanks, guys.